I finally found a way on how to get rid of all this ghosting and blurriness that's causing the PCSX2 emulation. And you can see that by default the game is really distracting and nauseating and can actually cause a bit of motion sickness. And since the emulator updated to 2.0, the menus have moved so I had to refine all these different settings. So I will go through all that, but I finally found a way on how to get rid of that, so keep watching. Okay, so first let's exit the game, shut down without saving. So first of all, we've got the game in the PCSX2 home menu. So we need to make sure we add it. But before I do that, I'm going to reset all the settings. So go to settings and then emulation, graphics, emulation. It's going to reset everything. So restore defaults, yes. And then we're also going to reset defaults for the game. Properties. Clear settings, yes. And first of all, you're going to have to make sure the game appears in a home screen. So you would go to make sure that. So first of all, obviously make sure you're not running the game. It would be to settings, add game, directory, and then mine is here. So I'm going to select that folder and select yes. And you see the game appears here. And then, once the game appears, you can right click on the properties of it, graphics and rendering. So go graphics, rendering, and you see it's got a new checkbox here, manual hardware renderer fixes. That wouldn't usually be here, so this is not a global setting, it's for specific games only that are added. So if we click close here, go to settings, emulation, it won't be here. So it's not here. So this is global settings here. And there's a few seconds here that I want to actually adjust quickly that are just uh, for high resolution gaming for a uh, modern PC. So we'll go to internal resolution to max 12 blending methods, which is, let me just check. Yeah, this. So F5 toggles the interlacing, this. And I think it's this one that gives the least artifacting. Aspect ratio fit to window full screen because I have some mods uh, for ultra wide resolution, for example, this which we can enable by going to emulation, enable cheats. Well, this is for Crash Bandicoot Rifle Cortex specifically, and I also like to enable vertical sync, it's the way each frame is rendered and displayed. So now that we've done that, we can go back to the properties for specific games, Crash Bandicoot. So here, let's go back to the manual hardware fixes. So these are the two new tabs that we added. If you want to check updated settings for the settings that we input here, you don't have to reset the game every time. You can just make a save state and load the save state. The load the save state will have all these settings that you changed updated. So they won't reload the previous settings that you had in a save state. So we're going to go into here and I actually noticed this by another user from this video and they mentioned having 360, 360 and 490 here. However, it causes two new issues. So if you run the game now, you'll get two new issues and it will say this. So we have to fix these two issues and you can do that by going into hardware fixes and auto flush. You mentioned auto flush, so we change this to enable all primitives and then skip draw range from zero we're going to change that to one not ten one and the default to ten not hundred ten and that pretty much fixes the main issues but that is basically the most important things and yeah so since pcsx2 updated to 2.0 all the settings are in different locations now so it took me a while to find all these but i think that's really very helpful so you don't have to waste hours finding each settings like i did which is a bit annoying but it's very distracting when you're playing the game now although that fixed the ghosting issues they actually got rid of the snow effects so what we need to do is mess around with this skip draw range so if we have it on zero and 10 that gets rid of the ghosting effect completely but also gets rid of the snow so if we reduce it to say five we'll get different effects and what we can do now is actually we can launch the game from the loaded state rather than launching it from a reset which would really save time and actually seeing all these differences so let's load it load state
and press F5 so you can see differences in terms of the interlacing. And we're going to make a safe state once I'm inside this level. Because we cannot change those settings whilst we are in the game. So you can see we've got some of the snow vaporizing on top. So if we make a safe state here, you can see in the top left corner we've got a state saved to slot 1. And we exit out. System, shut down without saving. And go back to the properties. And change it from, what was it that we had? It on five now let's change it to say two close it run the game and load state and that loads a different state so let's load the state and you can see things are getting weird now so we've got do we have the snow back no we've got we don't have the falling snow now but now we have glitches so let's exit again system shut down without saving and we basically want to find a nice balance between okay see we've got snow but we also have a lot of um, artifacts so we don't want that either so we've got the snow falling Let's shut down with our excess shut down graphics so what do we have we have zero and one and what was the default default was zero wasn't it yeah the default was zero so we just had one so what could we do what if we increase this beginning to say two what would happen no no good What's it zero to two? No. Okay, now we have no glitches. We can maximize. Change the interlacing. But we don't have the nice snow we have you see you just draw that now but only when you get close to it I believe so that's not so we're missing out on some effects what if we mess around with the upscaling fixes so 490 let's try that was 4490 let's state no it doesn't look like it messes around with that Well, it looks like the texture offset wasn't the actual issue if we have just disabled it. Can we put it minus or something? What would happen if we say free to free? Oh, there we go. Bam! We've got snow. So we've got everything here now, don't we? Except that it keeps on um, disappearing and reappearing. So it looks like the texture offset wasn't the problem. But you can see that the snow keeps glowing and then turning off. But we've got the snow. So what if we mess around with the skip draw range? 
little bit further. How about two to two? Four. Or oh, let's try four to four. Let's see what happens. Nope. It's definitely not a four range. And you see, did we have the ghosting back there? Although I know we've got a glitchy. No. See, it looks like we have the snow there, uh, the, the frost, whatever you want to call it, there permanently. But it's got the glitchiness, which isn't what we want. What if we do like three to four? Okay, it's permanently on by the looks of it. Let's toggle the interlacing because it's not in my default menu. There we go, both. Every that's everything now, I think. We've got the haze, got the, the snow, the way we want it. So there you go, guys. It wasn't the texture offsets. It was the skip draw range. So let's exit out. Okay. 